Hey Explorers, it's David Webb here, editor of Explore Magazine, and let's take a look at the new Fusion 150 sleeping bag from Hotcore Products. Hotcore is a Canadian company, so we love that. And this is one of their latest mummy bags. It's called the Fusion 150. Now, if you're an Eagle Eye viewer, you might notice, hey Dave, it says Rocket 150 on there. Well, this is a pre-production sample that we've had for a few months. So that's given us a chance to test it out in all types of weather conditions, not just the beautiful bluebird sunny day that we're having today. If you ask me, the Fusion makes more sense than the Rocket because this bag actually fuses ethically sourced duck down and synthetic fill. It's a bag for backpackers. It comes with its own stuff sack. I've got it moderately compressed here. I could take it a little further, but I don't love putting an extreme compression on down. It can actually damage the feathers, damage the down. So this is about as much as I need to go, really. Weighs 1.1 kilograms. It's 203 centimeters long, and it's 84 centimeters at its widest point, but of course it tapers because it's a mummy bag. It has 650 fill ethically sourced duck down on the top, and a Truloft microfiber synthetic on the bottom. We're gonna get into why they did that in just a minute. Let's roll it out and take a look. Slim, it's nice, it's lofty, but let's talk about why it's the Fusion. So on top, you have ethically sourced duck down. Down is the best insulation because it's lofty. More loft traps more air, traps more heat. On the bottom, we've got a synthetic. Synthetic is meant to mimic down, but it really doesn't have the warmth retention properties. But it's more hydrophobic and it actually responds better to crushing. So if you put it on the bottom where your body weight is crushing it anywhere, you're actually losing most of the warmth retention properties of the bottom of the sleeping bag anyway. That's why we use nice sleeping bags like this Thermarest. So on top, you have the nice lofty down. That's where the, it's going to trap the heat. And unless you're sleeping outside under the stars, you're more likely to get the dampness creeping up through the bottom. The hydrophobic synthetic is better purposed for the bottom anyway. Now, there is another reason they did this, of course. Synthetic fill is cheaper than down. So by uh, fusing the two, they actually managed to keep the price of the sleeping bag to less than $200. So uh, for a minus five, rated sleeping bag that's what it's rated to minus five less than two hundred dollars that is an excellent bargain now I bet you're wondering wait a minute if synthetic is better on the bottom and down is better on the top why are there any 100% down bags well down is lighter and more packable so a bag that uses any synthetic fill will be a bit heavier and a bit uh, bulkier than a 100% down bag another feature I like are these little uh, fabric loops right here what that's for is, if you're like me, you're a restless sleeper, and uh, if you're gonna use this slimline bag, you might have a very slimline, uh, very narrow profile sleeping pad. I don't today, but you might. And if you take these fabric loops, you can run a cord and actually affix the sleeping bag to the sleeping pad. So you can thrash and roll and everything, and you won't end up on the cold ground, which I think is a great feature. I'm six foot two, and I fit well in this bag. Whether you want to look at it as the weather having cooperated or not cooperated, um, I wasn't actually able to get down to the minus five when I used it, but I have tested other sleeping bags from Hotcore, and they're pretty good with the temperature rating. It's of course important to note that these are estimates. Now some people sleep hot, some people sleep cold. Some people go to bed in their skivvies, some people go to bed in their fleeces. Now all of this is going to determine exactly how warm you stay and exactly how low the temperatures can go. You might need to add a sleeping bag liner, you might need to put some heating pads in there. You might be sweating it at minus five, I don't know. But what this means is at minus five, it's a good bag for Canadian camping if you're planning on doing spring and fall camping, or you wanna do high alpine camping, or you're doing a road trip into the, into the north, into the Yukon, where temperatures are really variable. Um, it's going to be pretty toasty if you wanna just camp on uh, hot summer days in the, in the southern latitudes. But uh, for Canadians, I actually think a minus five rated bag, if you're a real sort of three season or mountain camper, is, it's a pretty good way to go because let's be honest, if it gets hot, just unzip it a bit. Um, but if you get cold, there's a lot less you can do about it. We got a hood, we got a drawstring enclosure. We have a Velcro strap to keep the zipper from pulling down in the middle of the night. It's a cozy unit, like a lot of uh, mummy bags. So if you like to sprawl out all over the place, well, you're gonna wanna maybe try this out before you buy. But mummy bags are the best for backpackers because they don't have bulk. And bulk is just as important a consideration as weight. I can definitely spend a few nights in this. Overall, I have to say, we're very impressed with the sleeping bag. For a sub $200 price, I believe it's $195.99 MSRP, uh, you get a down synthetic blend bag rated to minus five, packs up small, packs up relatively light. It looks like Hotcore's got another winner and we love to see that from this Canadian brand. Check them out at hotcoreproducts.com. I'm David Webb, thanks for tuning in today and hey, live the adventure.